Hi, I'm Fiona. She said, show me your hands. And I sat down in front of her, placing my hands on the table between us. She touched them, felt the weight of them, traced the lines that told my stories. You are a writer, she said. It's your gift. And very sensitive, she winced. Yes, very sensitive. Her bright blue eyes looked into me. And you want to know about love? I laughed. Perhaps I do, thinking, I wasn't going to ask about love. I'm wondering where I'm going and still reeling from where I've been. She was a pause in the pause. When the music did not emote, she was the loving touch, the tenderness where tears evaporated. She saw through to all the places I hid grief. She told me diving in was going to be scary and the way to relief. She said I was in Byron for a reason. She saw the veil of sadness and old ghosts. The emotional dam I didn't recognize pain as a blessing until joined by the element of time. There are cracks in her heart where the light comes through. A divine web of memories born in joy damage and quiet internal storms. Driven to hold and protect fearlessly and without appreciation, the inclination had worn thin, as mothering and self-sacrifice was not forever. As a lover in whom joy was magnetic and who also flinched with lack of trust, the two faces of the doorstopper keeping her heart ajar. She was a loner now, but having never had time alone, hadn't met this part of herself. She was practicing presence now and no longer distracted, was discovering the joy in her love of self. She was learning to hold her, soothe her, understand her, make sure her needs were met, ask for what she needed. Not as easy as it sounded after realizing she had no idea what she needed. So there was a journey to discover. All loves required a brave heart. She was wobbly on the journey to brave.